what's up guys welcome to another episode of what i learned today in android in this video we are going to talk about dependency graph of a project often time we are working on some project where we get circular dependency error where two dependencies are using the same sub dependency or sometimes we need to see what sub dependencies are used by a dependency in this case let's see how we can draw their dependency tree open your project and click on this terminal tab at the bottom Once you open the terminal tab, you need to make sure that you are in the root directory of your project. Like in this case, I'm in my root directory. Next, just type. Here, app is my module name. You need to make sure that your module name should come before the colon. So in my case, my module name is app. After writing this, press enter. It will take some time to build the dependency graph of your project. Once it's done, let's see. Scroll up and you can see Android Studio have given you a dependency graph like this. Now you can see how different dependencies are interrelated. Let's see an example. Here play service location needs sub dependencies that is play services base 17.50 and further dependencies. So, this is how you can see how different dependencies are interrelated with each other. Let's see another example. If we see this, Retrofit RX Java 2 adopter requires Retrofit 2.1.0. Not only you can see what sub dependencies are required by a dependency, you can also see them along with their version. This is very helpful when we want to remove the error of circular dependency from our project or we need to understand what's the relationship between different dependencies. If you are running Mac and you get a permission denied error, you need to give permission to Gradle to run. You can do that by simply typing chmod a plus x and gradle w. This will give permission to gradle w to run. You can further filter out these dependencies based on whether they are test implementation or implementation. Let's see how. For example, if I want to see the dependencies with implementation, I will simply write configuration and implementation. And this will give me all the dependencies that requires implementation tag. Similarly, you can get all the dependencies with test implementation. So that's all for this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe because I'll be making a lot of videos on what I learned today with Android. This is AJ signing off.